you're watching 8-bit days a week and we're going to continue testing out um, various PlayStation games that were not originally included on the PlayStation Classic. Let's see how they run and this time I am trying out Metal Gear Solid Integral and this is basically sort of a upgraded not really upgraded but updated version of Metal Gear Solid released only in Japan uh, just a few differences here and there I know this came packed with the uh, it came in three discs the third disc has the VR missions And even if this is a Japanese uh, title, it actually has the English voices. And let's see how it runs on the PlayStation Classic, although I don't think there should be any problem. Um, so you see here that it's all in Japanese, but once you get in the game, it's going to be all English, actually. Special. And we see a few different options here. Uh, let's just go with very easy. We're just uh, doing um, like a performance test anyway. I know that the stock. Oh, wait, I forgot to. As always, I'm just going to enable the show FPS with no tweaking just to show you how it runs with minimal tweaking I mean no tweaking just plug and play and as I, as I was saying um, the stock version of Metal Gear included on the PlayStation Classic I recall it didn't really run very well it had some slowdowns so let's see if I notice that as well here Always a treat to replay this game. So far so good, no problems. Okay, well, we already know that, and so far there's no problem on the codex scene. Um, the text is clear, visible at least. It says, uh, from our experience, some of the other games seems to have problems with text. Alright. And uh, we see a yawning guard there, or just stretching at least. And so far, everything is uh, smooth. Oops. I feel 
stupid. Wow, very easy and I still get caught. Anyway. Um, anyway, everything should be fine from here. Let me just stay here as usual. And I was, uh, as I was mentioning, everything looks actually smooth. Frame rate is at a constant uh, 60. Well, not constant, but at least it doesn't drop so bad. Oh, finally. And there's my ticket out of here. If only it would go faster. Okay. Oops. All right, let's go. Yeah, everything looks smooth, actually. Because I remember it's during this sequence I immediately noticed something wrong with the stock version. And it didn't look as uh, smooth as I remember back in the day. Alright, title screen. And it looks great. So anyway, because if you load a mo uh, like the mod, you won't be able to access the stock games. So since Metal Gear is very much essential to any collection, you might as well still load it on your USB drive there. Oh no, what was that? Okay. Well, there's a problem. That's a huge graphical issue there. Alright, since we know that there seems to be no problem with the codec conversations anyway, I'm skipping them. But something about the cutscenes there. I don't know if, if it's maybe because I'm using the integral version. And there we go again, so everything is definitely not perfect. That's unfortunate. But, um, can't say I have no choice there. Um, I'd still rather I'd still rather play this than the stock version, to be honest. Let's see how much more graphical problems we might encounter in the actual gameplay. See, I could definitely tell here, during this part of the gameplay, it, everything is actually better than the stock version. Okay. 
Oops, almost caught there. Come on, faster. And there, everything looks okay during uh, the gameplay at least. So the problem seems to be on certain parts of uh, cutscenes. Yes, very long. Anyway, um, I I would uh, presume that there's gonna be more parts of the game that will have uh, graphical glitches like the one we saw earlier. So you may not have a perfect experience here. But if this is your only choice, then should be fine. They just opened the vent cover. It's not a perfect experience, but for what it is, it's fine. And um, that's it for this one. This is Metal Gear Solid Integro. And you're watching 8-bit days a week. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. Catch me more. I uh, can catch more videos of me trying out other PlayStation games on the classic. Thanks for watching.